This episode of Tech News Day is sponsored by HelloFresh and by Paint Your Life. Let's begin today by discussing the tiny computer that Elon Musk wants to put inside your brain. Very trustworthy. The last week, Musk held an event for his absurdly ambitious brain-computer interface project Neuralink, which we haven't really heard much about in a little over a year. The last time Musk held a Neuralink event was in July of 2019, and uh, it was all very theoretical then. Um, here's what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. It being sticking a bunch of tiny electrodes into your brain to, as Musk said, democratize intelligence and uh, give your brain access to all digital information on Earth and, uh, I don't know, even store memories in the cloud. Wow. Yeah. It's like anime is real. Yeah, you don't really take it seriously when you first hear about it because you're like, okay, yeah, 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 go to work on it. Also, I, I want Elon Musk as far away from my brain as humanly possible. Yeah, I mean, for a lot of people, him associating with this, that's a plus. For me... To negative. Not so much. Mm -hmm. Brain-computer interfaces have existed for a while now, though it's still a very young field. In controlled environments, BCIs have allowed blind people to have some semblance of vision temporarily restored and given paralyzed people the ability to control robotic limbs and mouse cursors. I mean, it's all been very basic stuff, but it has a lot of potential much further down the line. In the near future, that means helping people with neurological and spinal problems, but later on it could be the stuff of science, like anime, science fiction, just the fun things that you think about that aren't as practical as helping someone who's a paraplegic walk again. Yeah, boring. <laughs> yeah. And, and sci-fi and anime, they're obviously much more exciting to your average person than, like I previously said, quadriplegics being able to move mice and stuff, although it's very good for them. It's great. Yes. But we're selfish. Yes, Everyone's exactly. selfish. Everyone's like, all right, Elon, we get it. Where's uh, my brain computer? <laughs> <laughs> what can I do with it? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, especially when it's Elon Musk pitching it, you expect more. So much like Elon's plans for a Mars colony, Neuralink is exciting stuff, even if all the exciting parts might not ever actually happen. Anyways, last week's presentation, it was similar to Elon's previous presentations for his various companies. It was awkward as hell. Did he do a cool dance? Uh, this dance not, was powered by the Neuralink. He did not. Uh, I he, downloaded the evolution of dance into my brain, and I can do them all. That's how I know that this thing isn't nearly where he wants it to be because if it was, he would have programmed himself to be better at doing these presentations by yeah. now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's an incredibly awkward presenter. Lots of pauses and mumbling and dead air. Um, but, you know, in his defense, as he says right at the top, this presentation, it was mainly for recruiting purposes. Um, right now, nothing is for sale. He's not seeking funding. He just wants to recruit top talent to Neuralink by showing them what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So, he lays out the goal of Neuralink. He says it's to solve important brain and spine problems with a seamlessly implanted device. Those problems include memory loss, hearing loss, blindness, paralysis, depression, insomnia, extreme pain, seizures, anxiety, addiction, strokes, and brain damage. Was he dancing on stage with a top hat and mustache <laughs> with a cane pointing it? Let's got, show him what we're gonna cure. I got the thing, a cure for everything. It's Elon and Son's magic tonic. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, Neuralink can supposedly solve all these problems eventually. Mm -hmm. um, pretty ambitious, yes, right at the top. Uh, do I have your attention yet? hope so. Yeah. Well, if it's anything like the uh, commercials for every other medicine or product, there's going to be a lot of side effects. Side effects may include death. death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Musk explains that there's already the Utah Array, a bulky, limited version of Neuralink, and deep brain stimulation, a treatment for Parkinson's that's similar to a pacemaker for the brain. Elon wants to improve on these by orders of magnitude, first 100 times, then 1,000 times, mainly by increasing the number of electrodes and therefore the number of channels that the brain and device can interface through. Uh, at Neuralink's previous presentation, the product was pitched as a device behind the ear resembling a hearing aid, but now it's a coin-sized device that actually replaces a part of your skull. <laughs> As in, they remove part of your skull and then they plug the hole with Neuralink. Okay. It's like a nicotine patch for your skull. Bunk. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! Don't get me too excited. My Neuralink might pop out. Yeah, and then just blood. Bleep, bleep, bleep. So Musk, uh, yeah, they do put skin over it. Good. It's not... No, you just have to wear, you have to wear the <laughs> Neuralink hat. <laughs> yeah. No, no, leave it exposed. It's like leaving the sticker on a brand new uh, hat. Yes, exactly. I want people to know who they're talking to. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Musk, he describes it as a Fitbit for your skull and sort of like if your phone went into your brain. Uh, and he says it's uh, 10 times better than anything currently out there. 
this version is.、Uh, you can control it with an app in your phone.、Uh, it's got an all-day battery life, and you charge it inductively while you sleep. So basically. <laughs> <laughs> like that little stethoscope thing that you charge an Apple Watch with, yeah.、Uh, but、uh, you just connect that to your head. Sounds really when annoying you, when you're laying down to go to bed. <laughs> People, I roll over in bed and stuff. Well, you're not. You're gonna have to stop doing that. Luckily, the Neuralink can help. I just, guess you're right. Yeah, just, just turn it on and、uh, don't shuffle while you sleep mode. You turn it from unparalyzed to fully paralyzed when you want to sleep. Yeah, I mean,、yeah. and presumably you could just be like, if you're having insomnia, just boop. Put my ass to sleep and wake my ass up in eight hours. I guess you're right,、uh, but they should come up with the Neuralink pillow, like the My Pillow. Yeah, <laughs> and he can sell、it's、a the pillow with the charger in it. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Wireless charging for the thing.、Uh, he says that the surgery for getting Neuralink implanted into your skull will take less than an hour. It won't require general anesthesia, and it will be outpatient. And that's all thanks to the giant, terrifying brain surgery robot up on stage with him. I, that they got to make that look less imposing. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, oh yeah, you just stick your head here, and it just drills a big fucking hole in your head, scoops it out, jams this little coin in your head, and、uh, yeah, you're ready to go. Go home. Congratulations, you got a computer in your.、School. Human, do not kill. Okay, <laughs> I've analyzed it. I'm just doing the brain surgery on、yeah. this one. You have ten seconds to comply. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, so far this is all sounding pretty interesting,、sure. but it, it's also this is just a PowerPoint. So.、Uh, Nothing like you're not showing us anything,、mm -hmm. but that's when Elon brings out the pigs. Yes, he does.、Uh, he shows us one pig without the implant,、uh, then one pig who previously had the implant and had it removed to show the operation. It will be reversible if you have buyer's remorse, I、mm -hmm. guess.、Uh, then there's several minutes of awkward dead air while they get the third pig ready. But the third pig actually has a Neuralink implant in its skull, and we see live graphs of some sort of reading of brain activity related to smell. Uh, Elon says they've also got three other pigs, each with two neural links implanted, but、uh, you cannot see them.、Yeah. They go to a different school. Yeah,、uh, but they exist.、Mm -hmm. uh, aside from the live、uh, smell demonstration, there's also a pre-recorded video of a pig on a treadmill with neural link apparently predicting the movements of the pig's limbs with decent accuracy.、Um, all things that could exist without them going into your brain. You, there's、mm -hmm. plenty of、uh, graphs you can get just by plugging things into. You know, just sticking it on your on your chest or putting it on your finger or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so far,、uh, for how invasive this all is,、uh, yeah. I'd I, like to see a little. I bit have、more. a Fitbit on my arm. Yeah, I, I don't need the brain. Okay,、yet. but what if we cut your hand off and just gave you shoved it into your wrist? Yeah, yeah.、Hmm. Well, listen, I don't see、so. why not.、Yeah. I, I got nothing else going on. I got a couple.、Uh, who? How much does this cost? Ten to hundred thousand? They haven't really said so、mm -hmm. yet, but、yeah. they say it'll be affordable. Anyway, yeah, Musk. He says that Neuralink has already received initial FDA approval as a breakthrough device, which is a, a designation they give that basically puts it at the front of the line for other approvals down the line.、Uh, but they don't yet have approval for human trials, which is probably for the best.、Mm. Uh, he says that currently Neuralink is limited to just the surface of the brain's outer layer. They plan to eventually go deeper because a lot of the problems that they want to solve are going to require going beyond the cerebral cortex. Uh, and he says that initial human trials are going to focus on people with spinal injuries, like with most of these brain-computer interfaces that are not Neuralink.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, he also says that once the product is widely available, it'll probably be pretty expensive at first, but eventually it'll cost just a few thousand dollars for the chip and the surgery. Beep, pop, boop. Done. And、uh, eventually, otherwise healthy people will be able to get Neuralink and be able to do. Stuff like save and replay their memories from a cloud backup, and even download those memories into a new body or a robot body. Wow, when's that happening? So you're just gonna have like a a version of yourself that doesn't have your consciousness in it, but has your memories. And it's all sound. I mean, it literally sounds like Black Mirror shit. Yeah.、Um, yeah. But yeah, cool. It sounds simultaneously utopian and dystopian at the same time. Like I said. In a perfect world, this would do probably some good things. I think it I'm, has a lot of practical applications. Mainly for people for, in need of practical applications. Yeah, I would say that this. Hey, look, in a perfect sense, this could solve a lot of problems, mainly with you know、uh, motor functions, and I would hope maybe like mental health. Yeah,、uh, I have some pretty bad tinnitus. I'd like to get rid of. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be great. great. <laughs>、um, stuff like that, but、uh, the implications of. I just don't trust a company accessing my brain. I guess. Yeah, it's a little weird.、Mm -hmm. They already got the phone. That's plenty.
Mm-hmm. But uh, anyway, it also sounds uh, simultaneously believable and unbelievable. And it sounds like it's like it's one of those things where you look at the future and you're like, well, we don't have flying cars. But we have a thing that links into your brain. Mm-hmm. So it is one of those weird uh, futuristic things that's kind of cool to talk about that we finally made it to. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, he takes impressive cutting-edge technology that's here or almost here, and he also points out where it might be in a few years. So yeah, that's what it is does. looking forward. Uh, it's a great way to get people excited about technology, but it's also kind of deceptive. It's not here yet. Yeah. Everything he's shown about what Neuralink can actually do is currently, at least, is on par with what other companies and what scientists at top universities are also doing already. But also, those other people aren't Elon Musk, and those other people also don't really make wild predictions about what their tech might be in a decade or more. So you don't really hear much about them. It, isn't this the device where he came out on stage and the scientists were like, hey, actually, we, we haven't gotten there yet. Yeah, last year? Yeah, last time he started talking about it, He's like, oh, we, a monkey. We had a monkey control a computer with his brain. All the scientists were like, whoa, we're, we're talking about that? Yeah. And, Stop. Uh, yeah, apparently. And these windows are shatterproof. Well, there, was, there was a report like a few days before this about uh, like, employee turnover at Neuralink and like a lot of people that formerly worked there did not like it because Musk was imposing unrealistic deadlines on them and also like apparently there's like there might be some animal abuse issues I was going to say like in in a in a sci-fi dystopian movie there are people who resign out of moral moral yeah. obligations uh, like, no, we're not going to put the Neuralink in monkeys and have them kill each other Mr. <laughs> Musk that would be bad but wouldn't it be cool <laughs> Think about the memes. Little little monkey gladiator fights. Yeah. Yeah. What if we had a monkey pick up a knife like the monkey and family guy? Think about the memes. Yeah, there's uh this it 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 looks like it could be very bad. This could yeah. this could get bad. But I don't know. I, I don't want to fully shit on Neuralink and the yeah. people working on it. I mean it does look like it has the potential to help a lot of people. Which would be great. Yeah. It's just, you know, it's always best to temper your expectations with this kind of thing. I mean, I'm not sure we've talked much about Theranos on this show, but that's the biggest example in recent memory of a tech company promising a huge breakthrough. Mm-hmm. In Theranos' case, it was super fast blood testing from just a pin prick on your finger, uh, promising a huge breakthrough. And then those promises ending up just being absolute bullshit, mm-hmm. just a bunch of wishes and like, yeah, we'll figure it out. Like, just say what we're going to do and then we get, we'll get there eventually. Yeah. Um, yeah. Before Theranos was found to be bullshit, though, Theranos and its founder, Elizabeth Holmes, they were hailed as visionaries. They were on magazine and newspaper covers. That picture of her holding the little, yeah. little vial of blood. Yeah. There it is. Um, yeah. She's in prison, I believe, hmm. or at least was. I don't know. She's in trouble. But yeah, just saying, let's maybe wait until Neuralink actually does something that hasn't been done yet before uh, before we get too excited about this. This is going to end up just being like uh, how they were developing medicine for something else and found boner pills. Yeah. Are you going to have a little <laughs> crank that just like cranks your dick up? I mean, that's... My penis goes to 11 now. Yeah. 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 Anyways, comparing Musk to Elizabeth Holmes is a bit unfair since he's actually shipped products. Okay. Uh, But Neuralink is still a bit like Musk's proposed plan for colonizing Mars. Yes, SpaceX, they make great rockets, and they've even been able to make them land back on Earth. But colonizing Mars is still an absurd number of steps beyond anything that's happening now. It's still very much in the realm of science fiction and might not happen for 100 years or ever. Yeah. Similarly, it seems like Neuralink could very well push brain-computer interfaces much further than they currently are, which is not very far. (laughs) Yeah. But the sexier parts of Neuralink's uh, pitch, they, like backing up your memories, downloading knowledge into your brain, they're not coming for a long, long time. We will probably be, be dead by then. Yeah, it's, I mean, like, science barely even understands the human brain yeah. right now. I do enjoy the fact that Elon is, like, specifically throwing as much money at, as possible at things to either get him off a dying planet or, or live back forever. up his consciousness to <laughs> yeah. live forever. Yeah. All these guys are. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Silicon Valley, they're a bunch of freaks. They, 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 all, they all get, like, young blood transfusions, mm-hmm. and, like, they've all got doomsday bunkers. Which is crazy, because that's becoming more common because of the plasma shit with coronavirus. Yeah. And Trump's like, yeah, we're going for it. And, uh, I mean, just my own personal experience, I have a friend that I grew up with. I, don't even, I haven't even talked to him in probably 15 years, but he's loaded. I think he owns, like, a landscaping company or something. But uh, he's getting the fucking transfusions and posts about it on his Instagram stories. And I'm like, you know, 
old people and sick people could use this. Yeah. But he just yeah. goes fishing with it. Yeah. Yeah, just did it so I can go fishing with my buddies. Fuck rich people. My blood's good. I got the got the antibodies. Yeah. Uh, hey, listen, maybe he's part of some test group and I'm like dragging him or something, but I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. Not doing it for the free cookies afterwards. Those, yeah. You got to get the cookies <laughs> or you will pass You'll out. You'll pass out. Anyways, <laughs> moving on now from uh, Fitbits for your brain to just normal Fitbits. Uh, Amazon recently got into the wearable fitness trackers game with the Amazon Halo Band. And while it's, you know, on its surface, it's just another wrist wearable, an app for tracking the data that the wearable collects, like movement, heart rate, sleep, and so on. It's also got a few features that really make it stand out from the pack. Like, for example, most wearables can't measure body fat. Mm -hmm. How could they? I mean, body fat is pretty difficult to measure without a bunch of very specific tools for doing so. But the Amazon Halo wearable, uh, well, the wearable itself doesn't actually measure the body fat. The Amazon Halo app does, though, using just your phone's camera. All you got to do is strip down, take a bunch of underwear selfies that are sent over to Amazon servers. Where they're safe and sound. And uh, they calculate your body fat for you entirely visually. Oh, what's that? You're like me and everyone else. You don't feel comfortable sending intimate photos of yourself on a weekly basis to one of the most evil tech companies on Earth so they can create and analyze a very realistic 3D model of your fat ass? Well, fine. Fair enough. But maybe Amazon can interest you in another feature that differentiates the Halo Band from other wearables. It's called tone. And no, it doesn't measure how toned your body is. It measures the tone of your voice to let you know whether you're happy or not using a microphone that's built into the wearable. It's a mood ring, but it's not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you give it some baseline samples of your voice, and then it periodically records your speaking voice throughout the day without letting you know, and it detects pitch, intensity, rhythm, and tempo, and then it categorizes your emotional state as hopeful, elated, hesitant, bored, apologetic, happy, worried, confused, affectionate, and so on. And then markets a bunch of products based on your <laughs> emotions, I Probably. guess. Probably. Yeah. This is Amazon. Yeah. Oh, you feeling happy? Have some flowers. Here's some self-help books. Oh, are you depressed? Here's a bunch of cookies. Hey, you sad bastard. Yeah, here's some cookies. Now take a picture of your fat ass so we can tell you how fat you mm -hmm. are, you fat fuck. Why did you buy the cookies? <laughs> Why did you buy the cookies? Do you I have, have no self-control. Self <laughs> uh, yeah, unlike with the body fat nudes that you'll be taking of yourself, uh, the voice clips, they are only stored locally, which is nice. <laughs> But also, this just seems like a great way to make unhappy people uh, even more self-conscious than they already are. Wow, you're depressed. <laughs> yeah, I fucking know, Amazon. Oh, you're angry. <laughs> yes, I am. Calm down. Don't tell me to Whoa calm there. down. <laughs> Why don't you buy one of these calming products on Amazon? We have candles, yeah. incense. Essential oils. Yeah. Yeah. There's some Tony Robbins audio tapes on uh, <laughs> audible.com. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, also, it just sounds like pseudoscientific quackery. Maybe we're off about that. I don't know if there's really a way to like measure your emotional state based off the tone of your voice at random mm -hmm. intervals throughout the day. Maybe there is. Sounds like bullshit to me, though. Sounds like something that's really just going to pe make people more self-conscious about their mood, especially at a time when a lot of people are pretty rightfully uh, not as happy as they maybe should be. Anyways, if you're Amazon's looking... Gonna, Amazon's <laughs> going to know when you're lying. Yeah. They're going to have a lie alarm. <laughs> He's lying. He's lying. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry I was late. Uh, they had a lot of construction. Lie. He's lying. He's lying. <laughs> yeah. This guy's telling lies. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if you're looking for a fitness wearable that gets uh, way more personal than anything else on the market, Amazon has just the product for you. Mm. Hey, we know how you, you know how you buy everything from mm -hmm. Amazon right now? What if you let Amazon even more into your life? Well, I, I do. I think that sending the personal like pictures of you pretty much naked, at the very least, it'll inspire you to look better because you want to be like if they leak, you want to be like, well, I look a lot better now. It, it motivated me. I if mean, you don't make any progress, then you're going to feel real bad. See, if you had a service like that that was straightforward, here, another million dollar idea, guys. <laughs> you start you start a fitness company, and all it is is you send blackmail material yeah. to them. They hold on to it until you're in good yeah. shape. Yeah, and if you don't meet your fitness goals by a certain point, they release the blackmail. Yes. 
So you better get that shit done. <laughs> That's a good, good Motivate plan. Motivate you by fear and shame. That's the thing is with this Amazon product, y- you have to assume that like somewhere someone is looking at it, if not only for security purposes. So you want to look good every time, better every time you yeah, send it Yeah, I mean, they, they say that no human will ever see these photos and they delete them immediately after the algorithm sees them, but I don't know. After, after how many fucking leaks there's been over the years, I'm pretty sure you various can just big companies buy like, the little like measuring clamps for like ten dollars on Amazon. Yeah, well, yeah, but th- those calculate BMI, and BMI is supposedly not like hmm. it's not the goal. I don't know, uh, but also it's like, does it if they store the photos automatically like locally to your phone, that puts you more at risk if your shit gets hacked. Yeah, you yeah, now true. have a bunch of like progress n- shots. nudes that wouldn't otherwise be on yeah. your phone. Well, I don't know. So yeah. Amazon uh, Halo Band coming to a uh, wrist near you. But hey, before we uh, talk about other evil companies, basically Apple and Facebook, let's first talk about this week's sponsors. Starting with HelloFresh, you can get fresh pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door with HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh lets you skip those trips to the grocery store and makes home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips so you can enjoy dinner and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes or less. Yeah, break out of your recipe rut and try new things with so many delicious options to choose from each week. There's something for everyone, including low-calorie, vegetarian, and kid-friendly recipes. And uh, restaurants might be closed or limited where you live, but HelloFresh's gourmet recipes, like their balsamic fig sirloin, are over 60% cheaper than your average meal out. So you can enjoy a restaurant-quality dinner for much less. I think I had uh, last night some like delicious uh, tilapia with uh, roasted carrots and, uh, what is it, couscous on the side or something Sounds like healthy. That? And it was. It was like 750 calories or yeah. something. I've been doing mostly, I try to get the healthier ones, although this this week I got a Juicy Lucy burger as the cheat meal. Yeah, you got you got to have a little fun You got to have a cheat meal. Yeah. And it, it's got the cheese stuffed into it. Mm. But the rest of them, I got like two seafood ones and then like chicken tacos. And they were all pretty, yeah. pretty good for you. The Juicy Lucy, though, that's the Friday night meal. Treat yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, go to HelloFresh.com slash 80Newsday, 80Newsday, and use code 80Newsday to get a total of $80 off your first month, including free shipping on your first box. Additional restrictions apply. Please visit HelloFresh.com for more details. Again, that is $80 off your first month by going to HelloFresh.com slash 80Newsday and using code 80Newsday. This episode is also brought to you by Paint Your Life. If you're looking for a great one-of-a-kind gift for that friend, family member, or special someone in your life, PaintYourLife.com has you covered. With Paint Your Life, you get a professional hand-painted portrait created from any photo at a truly affordable price. You choose from a team of world-class artists and work with them until every detail is perfect. Their user-friendly platform lets you order a custom-made, hand-painted portrait in less than five minutes. And the process is, of course, quick and easy. You get your hand-painted portrait in about three weeks. You just send them any picture of yourself, your kids, your family, maybe even a special place or a cherished pet. Mm -hmm. You can even combine more than one photo into one painting. These meaningful and personal works of art can be cherished forever and are perfect for weddings, anniversaries, or literally any other reason. It's art, after all. Mm -hmm. At PaintYourLife.com, there's no risk. If you don't love the final painting, your money is refunded, guaranteed. And right now, as a limited time offer, you can get 20% off your painting. That's right, 20% off and free shipping. To get this special offer, text the word TECH to 64000. That's TECH to 64000. Text TECH to 64000. Paint your life. Celebrate the moments that matter most. Mm -hmm. Now back to the news. Lately, uh, we've been hearing a lot about some huge fights. TikTok versus the US government, Epic Games versus Apple. And the only real update we have on either of those is that apparently Walmart is now also in the running for buying up TikTok. All right. Which is weird, but okay. They just launched Walmart Plus, which is like their Amazon Prime uh, competitor. Mm Mm-hmm. Sure. But uh, now we've got yet another battle. Again, this one's involving Apple, who is now fighting a war on two fronts. This time, they're up against Facebook, which is funny because people seem pretty evenly split on the Epic versus Apple fight, maybe even leaning more towards Epic a bit. But when it's Apple versus Facebook, Apple actually seems to be very much the good guy in this instance. So the source of this latest conflict is that Apple plans to make it harder for apps to track users' data without their consent in the upcoming iOS 14, which, you know, sounds great. But the iOS is turning into a teenager. It needs more privacy. Yeah, sounds sounds like 
Who could possibly have a problem with that? Mm -hmm. Facebook could, because they say it will severely damage their business. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Mr. Zuckerberg. Fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. Turns out tracking users' data without their consent, sort of Facebook's bread and butter, which we've we've known this for a long time, Mm -hmm. but it is funny to see Facebook coming out and really telling on themselves like this. Yeah. Because... it's not just Facebook tracking your Facebook activity and serving ads accordingly. That's still fine under iOS 14. What Apple intends to prevent is apps tracking users using their unique device identifier without permission. That kind of tracking is how activity you do in one app results in personalized ads showing up in other totally separate apps. So it's basically it's this program Facebook has where they track your activity on Facebook and on your phone tied to your device ID. Mm-hmm. They sell that information to app developers. So when you open up other apps, they're like, well, this is the same guy yeah. who's using Facebook. This is what he likes. Here's the ads we're going to show him. Mm-hmm. And this is all done without your consent. And uh, Apple doesn't like that. <laughs> yeah, and good. Facebook doesn't like that. Uh, it's unclear how, how much money Facebook will lose with these iOS changes, but they say that Facebook Audience Network, their ad service that they offer to app developers, would lose around 50% of its iOS revenue. Enough that Facebook says they might stop developing audience network for iOS going forward. And also enough for them to be making a big public stink about it. And in addition to public statements criticizing iOS 14's privacy rules, Facebook also saw this as a great opportunity to join the Epic versus Apple fight by adding a little disclaimer to purchases made within the iOS Facebook app, letting people know that Apple does take that 30% cut. As if anyone would fucking care yeah. about taking money out of Facebook's Epic's pocket. Epic's like, Facebook, fuck off. Yeah. Apple, of course, doesn't allow apps to even mention the Apple tax, so they blocked that Facebook app update from going out, which surely pissed off Facebook even more. So there's another tech world feud that's happening that we're probably going to be talking about for quite a while. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I just love that. Like, yeah. <laughs> Epic's like, Apple, you're, you're ruining, uh, you know, you're, you're ruining gaming. And gamers are like, yeah. And then Mark Zuckerberg comes along. He's like, yeah, and you're ruining Facebook too, right, guys? They're, they won't even let us track other people's phone IDs. Get out of here, Mark. Yeah, like with, Fuck the, off. with the Epic thing, it's like, okay, you can take a couple of steps and be like, the Unreal Engine. And mm-hmm. app developers, it would be great if they had more money to develop better games or whatever. With Facebook, it's like, I don't give a fuck if Mark Zuckerberg makes a penny or a dollar. Yeah. Like, no one is fighting for Facebook's monetary value, no. except for people that work at Facebook. Yeah, and even then, like, you, every fucking, like, month or so, you hear about some, like, internal mutiny at Facebook where, yeah. like, their employees just are all like, Wait, why are we evil? <laughs> we gotta stop. Are we the baddies? Yeah. yeah. Did we literally facilitate that teenager going to Wisconsin and murdering two people? Because yeah. it sure as hell looks like we kind of did. Here, just take some more stock. Yeah. <laughs> just shut up and take more stock. Anyways, speaking of things that we'll be hearing about for a while, probably, COVID-19, because we're still averaging around 40,000 new cases per day in this this beautiful, lovely country. I got to say, really quick, fuck YouTube, by the way, because they used to have a thing where, you know, when you, you, so inside baseball, to be monetizable, to have ads run on your video. Yeah, you do a little survey every time you upload To say what's in the video. They used to have a thing that indicated that you were just merely talking about COVID-19 or the coronavirus. They took that away and retroactively tagged all of our videos for limited ads because we were talking about mass casualty situations again. Cool. Yeah, It's great. only, like, the biggest thing happening in the world right now. Like, yeah. God forbid and it you talk drew, about it, it. It put our uh, uh, trustability, or whatever they call it, ranking way down again. Well, that's why uh, we're grateful to our sponsors yes. and our YouTube members and <laughs> our patrons because... Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Making money on YouTube, damn near impossible nowadays. Sure. Unless you're just, like, making... Con- mass not, market trash. Not content for kids, but content safe that kids could watch if they accidentally did. Yeah, content for adults with the emotional maturity and intellectual curiosity of children. Mm-hmm. It sucks. It uh, pissed me yeah. off so much to see that. Yeah, no, that's that's uh, some real bullshit. Yes. Anyways, uh, coronavirus really fucking everything up, right? Even our ad revenue. Yes. And here's an update to the question on whether deciding to hold the annual Sturgis motorcycle rally in the middle of a pandemic would get anyone killed. The answer is yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, A man from Minnesota in his 60s who attended Sturgis last month has died of COVID-19. And to be fair, at this point, it's still fewer deaths than the road accidents that actually happened at the actual Sturgis event. Mm-hmm. Um, but the latest estimates there are that at least 260 Sturgis attendees contracted the virus and brought it back to at least 12 different states. 
As we've said before, the total number of cases and deaths linked to Sturgis will probably never be totally clear. Could be a lot higher than that. Um, but uh, yeah, Sturgis has claimed its first COVID death. No. Hopefully the last, but... Smash Mouth has blood on its hands. They do. Yes. They do. They got a body count. But hey, uh, there's a vaccine on the way any day now, right? Woo! Before the election, even. Yeah. Could be. Like, literally right before. Yeah. The CDC last week sent a letter to state governors asking them to expedite the approval process for medical supply company McKesson so that it can have uh, vaccination sites set up by November 1st, just two days before the presidential election. Mm. Uh, They're even asking states to bend the rules a bit and waive any licensing and permit requirements that might slow down the process, which, all right, makes sense. But uh, also, there currently isn't a vaccine. And there's no way of knowing that one will be ready on November 1st. Seems like they're just planning on injecting people with something two (laughs) months from now, regardless of whether or not it's effective. Yeah. So, cool. Not too confident in this vaccine, the way they're doing it. Yeah. Um, Well, putting the cart before the horse. They're turning me into an anti-vaxxer, specifically for this one vaccine. Yeah, I'm I'm pro-vax in most cases, but I'm anti-vax. For this vaccine specifically. I'm going to join a mommy blogger group. Yeah. You watch. Within a couple months, mm-hmm. I'm going to be flipped. Yeah. Why do I need this vaccine when I can use essential oils? Yeah. All I did was put some lavender oil into this diffuser and COVID gone. It's not bleach. It's miracle mineral substance. It's, what do they call it's it? Elon and Sons miracle tonic. <laughs> yeah. I don't need a vaccine. I got a brain computer. Yeah. Uh, Even Anthony Fauci, the nation's leading infectious disease expert, he said this week, quote, things are really on target. I think you'll know by the end of this year, November, December, that we do have a safe and effective vaccine, which I mean, I guess that leaves open the possibility of a vaccine being ready to go and distribute less than two months from now. Mm -hmm. But it also indicates that it'll probably take just a bit longer than Trump's CDC is clearly planning. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll see. I mean, it'd be cool if a working vaccine <laughs> was ready Wouldn't in two months. Great? We could all go back to normal. That'd yeah. be fucking awesome. I just don't have a lot of faith that that's what's going to happen. Yeah. And uh, it, it really seems to be a politically motivated, uh, you know, scheduling thing going Listen, on here. Listen, I don't give a fuck if it is. If it's an actual vaccine that works. If it is, yeah. sure. Yeah. But... Probably not. I don't think it is. Yes. Anyway, meanwhile, the rest of the world, or at least 76 other countries, have all now committed to a coordinated vaccine development and distribution plan called COVAX. But you guessed it. We're not a part of it because uh, the World Health Organization or China Health Organization, they're involved. And Trump does not like the WHO. A Mm. White House spokesperson said, quote, The United States will continue to engage our international partners to ensure we defeat this virus, but we will not be constrained by multilateral organizations influenced by the corrupt World Health Organization and China. Um, China, by the way, hasn't even officially joined COVAX. Um, They might not even need to. (laughs) They've got, I imagine they're probably working on their own vaccine as well. Yeah. So uh, it is funny that they'd be like, we're not, no, fuck COVAX. Not joining your China organization. It's like, well, China's not. Ah, still no. They're not involved. I mean, when we asked them, they said they might be into it, but uh, they're they're really not. They're not involved. They're, they don't have an active participation in it at all no. right now. It's the just, United States, China, Brazil, and Russia are all working on their own vaccine. Oh my together. God! It's like all the villains from like Captain Planet as yeah. countries. <laughs> yeah. There you go. The the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Exactly. Well, cool. Yeah. Anyways, that's it for today's episode. Please watch our most recent episodes right over here. There's a new Weekly Weird News. There's a new uh, Internet Today Daily over there. Yeah. Check both of those out, and we'll see you very soon for some news dumps, some Weekly Weird News. Again, you know, time is cyclical. It is. Yeah. But maybe soon. It's also going to be really hot this weekend, so take care of yourself. Yeah. Put some towels in the freezer. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.